Okay, so we're almost finished with the Carabao. Little bit more shading. Pero babalikan ko na lang ito mamaya. Looking good. What's up mga kasining? Happy New Year! First week ng January 2021. So ito yung pinakauna nating artwork na gagawin ngayon this uh, this year. So sa ngayon, gagawa muna tayo ng charcoal painting. So samahan niyo ako guys sa journey na to sa pag-drawing. No? See the process of how to make a uh, good charcoal painting. Um, I think working area ko. So, I got stuck in a very small room sa ngayon kasi, well, pandemic. Wala na kaming pwesto sa labas, sa town. And I was stuck here, inside. <laughs> Ayan, as you can see, andito lahat. Andito lahat ng mga gamit ko. Ayan. Sa guitar. And, uh, let me show you guys close up ng artwork. Okay, so ito yung painting. Ano lang, ito yung drawing. Ayan. You can close, see it closely. Ayun, meron yung bata. Nakaupo siya sa kalabaw. And then, kasama niya yung tatay niya. So, kakatapos ko lang siyang i-drawing. No? But basically, this, this is how I start. Usually, pag nag-drawing kasi ako, inuuna ko sa taas. Then, pababa. And depende pa rin yun. Minsan, may nakakalimutan akong detail dito sa taas. But basically, this is how I started. Usually, dito ko nilalagay yung... Sa left ko nilalagay yung aking... Uh, copy reference and then usually dito sa right yung mga brush na ginagamit ko. Ito pala yung mga brush na ginagamit ko. These are charcoal for my charcoal painting brushes. Ayan. Soft bristle brushes. Ayan. Not much concern regarding sa brand. As long as meron tayong magagamit. Uh, oh, oh, by the way guys, as you can see ito, I just want you to give a tour no, bago tayo magsimula. This is a sandpaper. So, tinukuskus natin dyan yung charcoal pencil. This is a pit charcoal. And the other one is ito. Charcoal blocks. This is hard and may isa soft. And then, yung nagtanong sa akin before, no? Bakit? Ano to? So, this is not really a pencil pen na na, well, it, pencil pen siya pero wala siyang ink so we use this for smudging usually pag yung mga hard to reach areas na yung hindi kaya ng brush pa gawing dark so yan ginagamit natin daw ito wala tong ano wala tong ink uh, pinatulis natin so dinidip natin to sa charcoal ididip mo yan dyan tapos yun yung gagamitin mo sa paglagay ng mga dark areas uh, dark part ng charcoal pen Okay guys, so start na tayo. Yung unang gagawitin ko is yung pental pen na walang tinta. By the way, actually, pwede tayong gumamit ng ganito. As you can see here, yung mga to. Ito actually yung proper material na gagamitin. The only thing na concern ko dito kasi, masado siyang malambot. Ayan o. Um, it's actually a paper. Uh, papel lang to na nakarolyo eh. But I find it na it's too soft. Uh, hindi niya makuha yung, hindi niya magawa yung dark, uh, yung gusto kong dark na mangyari. So, I replace this with this one. Uh, mas comfortable ako dito, mas matigas yung tip niya. Though I still use this one for smudging ng mga softer uh, tones ng charcoal. So, as you can see, ito. Yeah. That's how you do it. Make a powder out of the charcoal. And then, dun ko siya i-dip. So usually, itong pinaka-top, yung sa may pilik mata. By the way, kapag mas maliit yung dinodrawing ko, dinodrawing natin, mas mahirap siyang, mas mahirap makita yung details no, ng, ng mata. As you can see here, it's too dark. Dark lang siya. Halos hindi makita yung uh, eyeballs sa mata ng bata. But, we can still fix that later. No? 
So for smudging, sabi ko nga kanina, di ba meron yung ginagamit natin yung parang paper na nakarollo na puti. But I'd rather use this one. Depende sa depende sa comfort ng pagdo-drawing ko, no? Kung ano yung pwede kong gamitin, kung ano yung feeling ko na material uh, na brush na kailangan gamitin for this. So what I'm doing right now is shading. You know the difference with colored and uh, painting with color pencil compared to black and white is you're just relying kasi sa dark tone. So you don't really have to worry about the color. So for some reason, mas madali siya. Eh, it has some differences like uh, for example yung red. Ang hirap siyang ma-distinguish kapag black and white eh. Also guys, kapag kung tinitignan nyo, wala pang masyadong shading yung sa noo. Minsan ginagawa ko na yung buhok. So what I'm using right now is a uh, 7B Stadler Lumograph. Dati blue ito eh. But yung nangyari ngayon, ginawa nilang black. Yung 7B 8B. Um, this is a very dark tone. It's a graphite pencil. Pwede, pwede mo actually i-mix yung graphite and charcoal. It's quite the same. Quite the same. After that, nilalagyan pa rin natin yan ng powder sa maging black and then tsaka natin i-resin yung highlights later. Okay, next we're going to use the rounded brush. This is, ano makita yung number no? But this is one of the earliest brushes na na-acquire ko way back, dekada na rin. Simula nung nagsimula ako mag charcoal painting. I think I was still in high school nung kinuha ko to, no? And still, uh, still working. Okay, so one of the most interesting thing no, na ginagawa ko <laughs> kapag sa charcoal painting, tulad yan, since maliit naman yung detail, no, all you have to do is just smudge it and then we're going to use the eraser technique later. All you have to do is just smudge. You don't have to worry about the, ito yung mga to, lumalampas kasi may erase mo rin yan mamaya eh. So when you are painting uh, pala, no, always make sure that you are using the proper brush pag nagpipaint kayo kasi if you really wanted to achieve the desired um, shade and lines. So like this one, I'm using a, uh, yeah, if you can see that this is a rounded brush. You cannot use a flat brush when shading. Always use a round brush when you're trying to shade lalo na pag mga skin tones. For example, dito sa neck. That's the time you're going to use the flat brush when you're drawing the lines. You cannot use this for shading. 
also dito sa mga edge nung ito, ginagawa ito. So tulad nito, when you're trying to put a shadow, a little bit of shadow dito banda, that's the time na gagamit ka ng straight flat brush para makuha mo yung sharpness ng edge. Okay, so let's let's go down to the um, eraser part. Medyo maruming eraser ko, no? But ito yung panglinis actually natin sa mga edge. Yan. Kailangan mong linisin yung edge niya. And also this one. This is uh, needed. And one of the things na kagandahan ng needed eraser is pwede mo siyang i-shape into anything. Kung malakihan, yung sali, ganyan, malaki ang erase. If you're trying to erase a, a little bit part ng uh, shade or disappointed, ayan, pwede mong gamitin yan. So, dito na tayo sa highlights. This is one technique, no? Kung, pwede, kung gusto mong lagyan ng highlight, yung sali, yung ilong, erase mo yan. And then, yung sa baba ng mata, so also pwede kang gumawa dito sa needed eraser ng uh, skin toning di ba yung mga pores Okay, there you go. And then, just to clean that up, shade mo lang konti. Yan. So as you can see, parang tapos na siya, no? But babalikan natin ito mamaya kapag nandun na tayo sa part ng uh, finishing, finishing touches. Okay, so there you go. So next is yung patawan. Okay, now that's done. Proceed tayo dito kay Kalabaw. So kapag nagdo-drawing tayo ng fur, usually, we're using the pencil muna. Uh, maraming lines ang gagawin natin ngayon so as usual we're going to start with the eye so this is one of another technique Parang yung ginawa natin kanina dun sa, sa face, no? But this one, since we're drawing for, it is a combination of drawing. So, pencil muna. And then, isi-shade mo yung uh, tone, shading the tone. And then, next is the eraser, needed eraser. Para erase yung mga highlights. Okay, so we're almost finished with the carabao. Little bit more shading. Pero babalikan ko na lang ito mamaya. guys we are down to the last um, main character of the portrait so ito yung father yung tatay 
what I'm doing right now is nilalagay ko muna yung mga black black areas, the shadows and a little bit of hair and this is the hair bago natin i-shade guys we are down to the last part so right now yung ginagawa ko is yung grass the grass is a combination of drawing and then ito ito mga lines na to and then tapos yan get the needed eraser just put some lines and then after yan we brush it with a uh, flat brush pag malapitan just mukha lang siyang ganyan no? but pag nilayo mo and you can actually see the illusion guys so finally na tapos ko na after 10 hours tapos ko na rin siya so i started this painting kaninang 5 pm it took me 10 hours to do this and yeah i'm really uh, satisfied of the uh, outcome looks good enough i think it's worthy enough <laughs> okay so we're down to uh, the framing Siguro a little bit of detailing muna. And then, yeah, we will frame this one. This is uh, one of my signature frames. Ginawa ko siya. Maraming kahoy dito sa amin eh. And also, lagyan ko ng ayan, metal plate. Looks good. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. And please subscribe to my channel. Like this uh, video and uh, watch nyo yung iba kong uh, videos regarding art. Thank you guys.